Now let us see the poultry farming. Poultry farming is done for eggs and meat, chicken. So these two are the highly consumed non-vegetarian food resources or animal food resources along with milk. So the eggs and meat are produced from the poultry industry. So here the hens are two types, layers and broilers. The layers are meant for laying eggs. Broilers are meant for meat purpose. So these are whatever the different hen which are used for the egg purpose or for the meat purpose or breeds and foreign varieties. The local varieties like Asheil, if you see in the villages, they are of a different colors and different uh, body structure that they look different from the, the chickens you see in the poultry farm or a chicken center. So these desi varieties, they take very long time to grow up. They grow naturally, but they take very long time uh, completely ready for the meat production. But these hybrid varieties, the varieties which are selected, they will have some specific qualities that is which are commercially helpful for the farmers to get profits. So what are those qualities? What are the varieties? What kind of qualities are expected in the variety that can be chosen for poultry farming? Number and quality of chicks must be good. If it is a layer, the number of chicks and the quality of the chicks must be good. The dwarf boiler parent is selected. Dwarf boiler parent is selected for chick production. Summer adaptation. The bird which is selected, it should be uh, adapted to summer or hot climatic condition. It should withstand the high temperature. Otherwise, if the, if the variety is not withstanding high temperature, in summer season many of the birds die because of high temperature. So that is one kind of loss. So whatever the variety they select, it should have a quality that it should have some resistance to high temperatures. Because in summer season, sometimes the temperature goes to 50 degrees Celsius. Low maintenance. The variety, it should depend or it should feed on low cost feeds and it should have good production and reduction in size of egg laying bird. So these are the qualities expected in the variety. So if whatever the birds are selected for the poultry, if they have these qualities, the farmers will get good benefits. So among these two layers and broilers, the broilers are given proper care, good vitamin rich, protein rich supplements. Supplements are given to these broilers because broilers, they should be growing healthily. They should look healthy. They should have good feathers and they should grow so quickly and they should have proper amount of fat in their bodies because they are sent to the markets for meat production. Otherwise, they won't get profit. So they should be growing very fast. That is the reason they are given supplements, vitamin rich supplements. They are given protein rich supplements. Their feed is mixed up with more protein and all, right? So the poultry, the poultry in the poultry farming, the preparation of feed is also important. Certain farmers they collect the feed from other agricultural waste, which is nutritious and helpful for the growth of this poultry. So here, such kind of food is given to the broilers, and special care is taken to the broilers because they should be looking good and healthy. Even though in broilers or layers in these poultry farms, if proper sanitation is not done, if proper cleaning is not done, there is a chance of bacteria or viral infections spread among the birds. Proper cleaning, spraying of uh, certain chemicals to prevent infections and a vaccination to the birds and also checking the birds whether they are deficient of any particular nutrient are also to be done. Sometimes certain birds fall under deficiency of vitamins and all. So the birds are to be fed with vitamin rich feed because the birds which are grown in the poultry farm, they grow so quickly, so fast compared to the desi variety hens. So that is the reason they are supplied with the supplements, vitamin rich food material. So the broiler food, it contains vitamin rich, vitamin A, high amounts of vitamin A and vitamin K. And we know about the diseases like bird flu, when it spreads, 
it attacks it spreads so quickly and leads to death of the birds infection of the birds and consuming such infected birds is not good for the health of the people so whenever such kind of diseases are spread number of birds will be the infected birds will be killed that is a great loss to the farmer so proper vaccination has to be done to protect the birds from the viral infections like bird flu and such so this is all about the poultry farming so now let us see the fish production fish is the another food resource which is a uh, rich in protein rich in essential fatty acids which is very essential for the human body immunity and growth maintenance so it is cheap compared to the other protein sources available so even the poor people can afford to buy a fish and get good amount of protein in their diet so fishes are marine fishes freshwater fishes fishes are found in ponds lakes rivers and other freshwater bodies and sea ocean we find that marine fishes now we are talking about the different type of uh, fishes two different category of fishes true fish and shell fish generally fish in the sense you will imagine something with fins like this this is a fish a fish with fins this is a true fish shell fish is a prawn prawns oysters crabs all these are called as shell fish so again they are freshwater marine but how do we get the fish fish we get by two methods one is capturing the fish catching the fish second one is culturing the fish growing the fish earlier we used to get the fish only by capturing later the demand is more more people are looking for the fish and the capture is less so people started culturing the fish so we get the fish production is done by capturing and culture first we are talking about marine fisheries marine fishing that is sea fish india is a country which is surrounded by seas on three sides it has got 7500 kilometers of coastal line so by that we have plenty of coastal line by which we can go on boats and catch the fish so so many techniques are being used the mechanical boats are being used by the fishermen to catch the fish and they are using satellites and echo sounders to find where the school of fish the group of fish are found and they are reaching the particular location and catching the fish so that is all capturing basically the fish like pomfret mackerel tuna sardines and bombay duck these are the popular marine fishes which are captured and sold and which have a good commercial value so these kind of fish are captured by the fishermen by boats into the sea the other thing is culture as i told you that there is a lot of demand for the fish there fish are being cultured freshwater fish can be cultured in ponds and lakes even in the sea itself certain areas are marked and certain fish are cultured in particular areas which we call it as mary culture marine culture is called as mary culture in this fishes like mullets betki and pearl spots shellfish prawns and oysters for pearls oysters are grown in this under this mary culture so this is all about the marine fisheries now let us see this inland fisheries so we discussed about the marine fisheries now let us look at the inland fisheries so what are the resources of uh, freshwater fishes freshwater resources they include the canals ponds rivers reservoirs and where the sea water and fre uh, fresh water or the river water mixes you call them as estuaries and lagoons these are all the places where you get plenty of fresh water fish but capturing of fresh water fish is not sufficient for the meeting the demand there is more demand for the fish than the capturing so people started culturing fish which is called as aquaculture people started culturing fish and prawns that is called as aquaculture so again there are so many other techniques that are followed and fish can be combinedly grown up within a paddy field along with rice so that is a helpful method which the farmers can follow the paddy crop in the paddy crop when the water is logged in in that the farmers can grow the fish so that is a combined fish culture you see the composite fish culture 
is a technique in which different variety of fish are grown. So this is very economical. But here they can go for different variety up to six different variety of fishes grown together. But see that the species selected do not compete with each other. Whatever the six different variety of fish are taken for single culture in one particular pond, see that they are not competed with another. If, if it happens so, then they cannot grow properly and they will uh, destroy or they may damage or it leads to the disturbance in that particular pond. So, the fish that are selected for composite fish culture, they feed on different parts of the pond. Say for example, katla, they are the surface feeders, rohus, they are in the mid zone, mrigals and common carps, they are at the bottom feeders and grass carps, they feed on the weeds. So by that they do not interfere with the feeding habit of the other fish. So by that without any problems, without any competition, they live together and all these fish can be harvested. But here in this composite fish culture, there is one problem. What is that problem? So here we are growing six different variety of the fish and all these fish, they lay eggs, they breed in the monsoon. So when they breed, all the eggs get mixed. So if you wanted to collect the seed of particular rohu, you wanted to collect the seed of rohu, you cannot collect the seed of rohu because the seed is mixed up with the other fishes because all the fishes, they breed only in the monsoon rainy season. So that is the problem. To avoid that problem, the, the agricultural scientists have found certain solution to the, that problem that they are collecting the seed or the eggs of the fish by hormonal stimulation. So not naturally in the sense when it is rain, when it is raining, they breed. But what they do, they say they take or they collect the fish, they give hormonal injections and they keep the fish under floating water under hormonal stimulation. They collect the breed, they collect the seed from the fish. So how much quantity of the seed, pure seed they collect, pure seed in the sense which is not mixed with the other species. From the wild, they cannot collect. In a Say for example, there is a natural pond. The people cannot go to the natural pond and they cannot collect the seed of rohus only because even the wild seed is mixed up with different species. When you are going for composite fish culture, different species of fish are living together, all breed at a time. You cannot get the seed, eggs of the fish separately. So that is the reason hormonal stimulation method is used a fish is selected, hormonal injections are given and its seed is collected. So that seed is grown in separate form, that particular species of the fish is grown individually. So this is about the inland fisheries. So the next one under the animal husbandry, beekeeping is another enterprise, another industry. So this is also a food, a food resource from the animal. Honey is a very nutritious food which has got medicinal value. It has got a very high commercial value because it has got medicinal properties. Medicinal properties. It is nutritious and it is also used in cosmetics, cosmetic purpose that is for the beauty. So these properties keep this honey value very high and this honey or beekeeping it can be set up as an enterprise with low investment farmers as a side business they can set up the beekeeping and the products like honey and wax both have very good commercial value so the beekeeping shelves can be can be set up in the fields or farms so by that the farmers, they can get the honey with the help of the honeybees. The different local varieties of honeybees are Epis serena indica, generally called as Indian bee, Epis dorsata, Epis flore. So these are the local varieties. But they have less honey collection capacity when compared to the another bee called as Epis mellifera. This is an Italian variety. Italian variety which has got very good amount of honey collection. So this variety is introduced here that is to collect the good amount of honey. It has got less string capacity but good honey collection capability. So this Apis mellifera collects the honey. 
the quality of the honey depends upon the gardens that are close to the farms so the honey bees to which particular plants they are going which particular plant nectar they are collecting it all depends upon if your farm if your beehive is close to some fruit uh, crops or uh, fruit gardens then it depends upon the taste the flavor of the particular honey depends upon the close by plants and flowers and the quality of the honey depends upon the pasture is also so honey is also the another important product of the animal uh, husbandry that is the important uh, food resource so we have discussed about the various food resources plant food resources animal food resources so in this lesson we have seen all the different practices by which the production of the food resources can be improved because day by day the need or the requirement the demand for the food resources is growing up at the same time the production of the food resources also to be improved without causing any disturbance or harm to the environment that means we need to have sustainable management practices to improve the food production without causing any harm or disturbance to the environment and at the same time we should see that the food is produced in low cost not of very high cost so by that each and every person even the people with low income also should be able to afford to buy and get the food and we can eradicate or control the malnutrition and other problems if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus